What's up everyone? Back here in the build room tonight to pick up where we left off talking about Logan built products. So the last products that we covered were the front entrance cable shifter bracket and the rear cable entrance shifter bracket. So continuing on with our transmission theme here, today I want to talk about my TV adjuster kits. Now what TV is referring to is throttle valve. So on a full manual valve body, uh, depending on what brand that you get, the throttle valve is going to either dictate uh, where you set the main line pressure or 2-3 shift timing on a gearing unit. Uh, a Muldoon's unit has an internally fixed TV, so you do not have to uh, use one of these on one of those. But any other kit on the market, you're going to need some way of setting the TV so you can either tune in your 2-3 shift or set your line pressure. So let me show you what I have made up here to accommodate that and see what you guys think. So this is my TV adjuster linkage. As you can see here, we have two heim joints on each end, rod end, and a piece of chromoly, as well as a bracket that bolts on to the overdrive housing of the transmission and all of the supplied hardware that you need. Uh, after I describe this, we'll go put it on the transmission and show you exactly how it works. But essentially, this is all the way shortened right now, and you can adjust these heims out by spinning the adjuster rod clockwise or counterclockwise, left or right, will shorten or lengthen that rod. And so what that allows you to do is that allows you to take your TV lever and put that on the TV shaft, the throttle valve shaft, uh, just like a factory transmission would be on a ranging pressure valve body. And that will allow you to dictate where that is in a fixed position at all times. So currently the kit includes everything that you see right here. Uh, for you guys that are putting these on 48s, where you do not have a TV lever, I am working on uh, getting levers made for you guys. Uh, but for you guys that do have levers, easiest way to do this is to take your lever that normally has uh, this little ball on it, flip the lever upside down, grind the back side of the ball where it's smashed in down, and then you can drive it out with a punch, ball just comes right out and then open that hole up to quarter inch and then now you'll be able to attach the TV lever to the adjuster rod in here. So now that we know how that works, let's go set it up so I can show you guys exactly what it looks like. Okay, so here we have it installed on a 48RE. It's going to install exactly the same on a 47RE. Essentially the rear bracket bolts to the rear ear that is located on the overdrive section and then your TV lever is going to go onto the throttle valve shaft and then you just bolt everything up. So at this point this would be no TV input. This is completely uh, stagnant. There's no pressure applied to this. You'll feel on your TV lever if you were to just grab that thing and pull it you would feel where it would have some spring tension on it. So this is set just before it has any spring tension on itself. Now, if we wanted to shorten this, uh, say you're running a non-gear in valve body and you're using this to set your line pressure, you will hook a line pressure gauge up to the transmission and you will shorten this tie rod here, which will pull the TV lever backwards and you will pull that back until your transmission builder tells you whatever line pressure they want. And so you'll shorten this until you see that line pressure on your gauge. Now on the gear and stuff like I run, we use the throttle valve to time the two, three shift. And that is because we do everything with a constant pressure valve body. So the line pressure is already uh, set, preset from gear and when you get it. So that allows us to open up the throttle valve for two, three shift timing. So what I tell all my customers to do is leave it loose. So basically like we have it here, fully extended, no preload on the TV, and then go drive the truck. Once you know everything's good, make a wide open throttle two, three pull. And if you have a flare, which would be engine RPM revving up between the two, three shift, then you will start to give this, uh, you'll start to tie this back in small increments, just a little bit of input and continue until the flare goes away. The beauty of that is that the 2-3 shift is the most complicated shift in this entire transmission and that gives us full control over getting the exact perfect timing of it. So really really handy tool. Now if you 
shorten it too much and you go too far, you'll have a bind and that will feel like the truck is nosing over on the 2-3 shift, almost like you're hitting the brakes. And then you can just lengthen the adjuster to take some of that bind out of it and to give it some more flare and get that thing timed in perfectly. If you're doing this in a racing application where you have data, you'll be able to see in the engine RPM if it's, if it's a nice drop, it just looks like a peak and a fall, that's a perfect 2-3 shift drop. If it's rolled over before it falls off, you have a bind. If the RPM jumps up before it falls down, that's a flare. So data is really helpful with uh, timing this as well in a racing application. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these things, you can go to my website, www.getloganbuilt.com, and you can buy them right off of there. If you guys are interested in being a dealer, like all my other parts that I make, and you want to buy these things in bulk, shoot me an email at info at getloganbuilt.com, and we can talk about that as well. That's all I got for this week, guys. Hope that helps. If you guys are doing a full manual valve body, I suggest looking into one of these things. Thanks for watching. See you next time.